And I'm here with Carissa Yip once again, who won the third game in a row. Congratulations, Carissa. Thank you. I don't know how you are doing it, but you have 100%, three out of three. Please tell us what happened today and what are your feelings about such a tremendous result? Yeah, um, feeling good. Three out of three is nice. Um, yeah, today was a little strange. I think the opening was, um, it was like a dragon dwarf, right? So. I mean, it's like theoretically not great, but I wasn't sure the best way to punish it. I think overall I got a decent position out of the opening. Um, and yeah, I think it was just, it got like a little too difficult to play. I had, I played like bishop g5 at some point, and then after the exchange of knights, there's this pressure on e7. Um, yeah, and then she ended up castling queenside, which is kind of rare on a dragon. Uh, so clearly something has gone wrong there already. And I was sort of searching for like a, a killer blow, mm -hmm. but I couldn't quite find it. Um, Is it that's why you were spending quite a lot of time at this moment? Like I think you were down to 30 minutes compared to your opponent at a certain point. Um, well, I think I always made sure to stay ahead on the clock, mm -hmm. but yeah, she played like Bishop H6, and I think I spent a lot of time there because it just felt like, um, yeah, it felt like, you know, everything's sort of hanging for her. Um, her king's very weak. I have like this very nice dark square bishop on f2. Um, and with like the a6, b7 pawn structure, like b6 in particular, super weak. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I was just sort of searching for the win and I couldn't find it, which was a little annoying. Um, I ended up going into this sort of endgame, uh, just simplifying a little. Um, and she's just really down on time. And I think it's just. Um, yeah, I think the the position was still good for me, although probably not necessarily totally winning with best play, but it's just hard to hold, you know. Uh, and pretty soon after, she just, I think, hung, hung a piece. Yeah, um, and so what was the exact moment when you felt like, yeah, I mean, I'm going to win this game? Like, was it some particular moment, or it was going up and down, like there were a few moments when you thought, it's very close, but then it... It's slipping away. I mean, I was pretty sure I would win the game from like the early middle game stage. Um, yeah, like I said, I was super frustrated at not being able to win uh, earlier in the game. But you know, I think after I take on b5 and she just has like zero pawns in front of her king and like 30 seconds on the clock, uh, I just sort of knew and then she just blundered on the next move. Exactly, yes, this is what happened. And now three out of three, like, how was it compared to the previous U.S. Chess Championship? Do you remember your start there? I think I was two and a half out of three then. Um, yeah, generally I think I tend to have good starts, although, of course, that doesn't really say anything about the finish. But, yeah, feeling good. Absolutely. So tomorrow you're going to play against Irina Crush. What, what is your mindset going into this game? Yeah, Irina is a super strong player. Um, not sure how she's doing this tournament so far. Plus one, uh, I think she probably made a draw right now. Okay. Yeah, but I mean, she's very experienced. We've played a bunch of times. Um, of the black pieces, which is fine. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. We'll just deal with it. Yeah, I think she's should be a fight tomorrow. She should be. Yeah, she'll be playing for the win. Um, are you going to pre prepare for a long time, or you are trying, you know, to cut preparation? and find some balance. I'll keep that to myself, just in case <laughs> Irina's watching this, right? Uh, exactly. Yeah, no, no, I prepare for hours and hours every day, so, you know, she should, she should cover opening, everything, everything in the opening. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, okay, all the best of luck for you with prep and tomorrow as well. Thank you so much, Carissa. All the best for you tomorrow. Thank you. We are going back to the studio. Thank you, Anastasia. Our congratulations, uh, Carissa, as well.